Let's now talk about how you can build an API and test it locally inside Visual Studio Code Editor. JavaScript is a programming language that is vastly used to build web applications. Before Node.js, JavaScript was mainly used on the client side, but now it is used on the server as well. Over time, the developers created several libraries and frameworks using JavaScript. One of them is Express, a backend Node.js framework used to set up a Node.js based server. It is minimal and flexible and provides a robust set of features for web and mobile applications. You can use it to create routes, middleware and everything else you need in a server. We will now use Express to create our RESTful API. The first thing we need to do is install Node. You can skip this step if you already have it installed. Otherwise, you can find the latest version here by typing this uh, URL in the search box. Once you download it, go ahead and install it on your computer. We will also be using Rapid API Client to test the APIs as we develop them. So make sure you install it in your VS Code as well. Now let's start with building an API. For that, you need to create a directory on your computer and open it in your preferred uh, code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code Editor as explained earlier, and I have already created a directory by the name Rapid API. The next step is that we need to create package.json file. For that, I am going to open my terminal and type this command npm init y to hold our API's metadata. You can see that the package.json file has been created and the name uh, is rapid API. You can change the value of the name key with your preferred API name. I'm going to uh, build a, a movies API. So I am changing it to movies dash API. Let's save it. Earlier, we discussed uh, Express, a JavaScript server-side framework uh, built on top of Node. Let's go ahead and install it inside our project. For that, I'm typing npm install Express in my terminal. It will take a couple of minutes and you can see that in your uh, package.json file, Express has been installed. Let's now clear the terminal screen. Now we also uh, need to make the API publicly accessible and to achieve it, let's go ahead and install the course package. For that, I'm typing npm install course inside my terminal. And again, here in your package.json file, you can see the course has been installed. You can run your node.js server via the node command, but the drawback is that you would have to restart the server whenever there's a change in the server file. For that, I'm going to use nodemon instead and uh, I am going to install it, npm install nodemon inside my terminal. This will prevent the drawback that I mentioned earlier. Once this is done, update your package.json file to add the script key right here. I'm going to remove this and type start uh, nodemon index.js. It will take an object as its value. Inside the object, you will define the commands and what they do. I have added a start key in the object with the value nodemon index.js. Let's save this. I'm pressing command S to save the file. And here is the updated package.json file uh, that you can refer just in case. Now let's create a file called index.js in this project di directory. And now I'm going to import express and course inside this index.js by typing uh, const express require express and const course require course. Let's now write here as importing packages. Now uh, we will create an express application by typing const app is equal to express inside our index.js file. Now I'm going to add the middlewares. We need to introduce a middleware so that our server recognizes the incoming request objects as JSON objects. For that, inside my index.js, I'm typing app.use express.json. We also need to make the API publicly accessible so our users do not need to run into a cross-origin error. For this, uh, I am adding the middleware. Uh, app.use course inside my index.js file. Lastly, we need to listen for a connection 
to know that our server is running, you can do this by adding uh, the following lines of code in your index.js file. Let's press command S to save the file. After all of this, this is how your index.js file will look. The next step is to ensure that the code base of the API we are developing is modularized. So now we need to create a routes directory. For that, I'm creating a new folder by the name routes inside the project directory. Now create a file by the name movies.js uh, inside the routes directory. Let's now export express in this file uh, in the movies.js file by typing const express require express and use it to create a router by typing this command. Afterward, I'm going to define a sample movies array and then write three router functions to handle the get, the post and delete requests. I have passed a callback function as the second parameter to send a response to the client in each of these functions. Lastly, I'm going to export the router I have just created from this file. This is what our movies.js file will look like. Let's now save this file by pressing command S. Let's import our movies route inside index.js file. Right here, I am going to import this uh, since it's the movies.js file. So I am changing this to movies. Let's correct that. Now I will register this route inside my application like this by typing app.u slash movies movies right here. Let's uh, save this file. The function inside the movies.js file will run when the client requests the slash movies endpoint with an appropriate HTTP method. For instance, this is what it's going to look like. Now let's use the rapid API client to test the API we have developed. Before we do this, we need to start the server by running nodemon index.js inside our terminal. And we're getting this listening on port 5500. Let's go back and refresh it. And here it is. You can see that the command has started our server at localhost 5500. Slash movies is the endpoint. Now, what we need to do is here uh, open Rapid API client by clicking this icon right here on the left sidebar menu. Create a new request by clicking on this plus icon right here. Let's test our get HTTP request. To do that, add the URL localhost 5500 slash movies and select get from this drop down menu and click the send button. The request is successful as we are getting a status code of 200 and an array of movies. Let's name this test as get movies and save it. Similarly, we can create another request and now we can test the post and delete HTTP methods on this API as well. I'm going to change this to post enter the url the localhost 5500 slash movies entering the name uh, as post movies i can even add the description let's now click this body and json from here and provide the following request body to the post request i'm going to click this send and let's move down and here we are getting our movie that we added in the post request Similarly, to test the delete HTTP method, I'm going to create a new request by clicking this plus icon right here. I am going to enter the URL and selecting the delete uh, HTTP method from this drop down menu, naming it delete movies. And inside this JSON, I, uh, I want to delete ID2, so I'm typing that. Let's now click send. And here we are, ID2 uh, has been deleted from the results. As you can see, there is no ID2 present and it's working perfectly normal. Every time you click the send button, you will see that the data on the right hand side has been updated. We have successfully developed an API using JavaScript and tested it using Rapid API Client for VS Code. 
In the next video, we will talk about how you can publish this API on Rapid API Hub using Rapid API Studio and monetize it.